KNBC 9's Brian Johnson live outside the high school. And Brian, this wasn't just a verbal debate tonight. Things actually got physical, too. Exactly. People were actually throwing fists and hitting each other outside the auditorium this evening after the board unanimously voted to approve requiring masks. Now, several sheriff's deputies got on top of that. They were able to handcuff one of the individuals who was getting in the fight. Then more sheriff's deputies arrived. There was lots of shouting tonight during the meeting. There were tense moments inside and out the Pleasant Hill High School Auditorium as the school board considers a mask requirement. Right now, the district has 21 positive COVID-19 cases. 180 staff and students are in quarantine for exposure. That's more positive cases in the first nine days of school than half of all last year. We need to go back to a mask mandate with the way that the virus is spreading and how it's affecting children now. And if a healthy child is healthy, they should be in school. They should be allowed the same education as, as anybody else. During the meeting, there were dozens of people who signed up for public comment for and against the masks. They can't protect themselves. They cannot get vaccinated. It's our job to do that, and the board needs to vote that way. Many feel the quarantine guidelines should change, not the mask policy. We have a mask optional policy, and if you think masks work, send your kid to school with a mask, but if not, Send them to school, let them breathe. It seems there is one thing everyone agrees on. We feel and think um, we are definitely being divided as a community right now, which is really unfortunate for a small town to be divided. And tonight there was one board member missing from the event. Uh, we're told by several people that that's because that individual is recovering from COVID-19. All the board members who were present voted unanimous to require masks. Live in Pleasant Hill, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.